My name's Soham. I'm Choctaw Indian and Scottish. <clears throat> my uh, my path to making jewelry is from the uh, American Indian side. This was one of the first books I got. I was self-taught. I was originally a mechanic. Um, so this is Oscar Branson. You can see down here. It it's still a good book. It's a good basic how-to book. It's mostly about Navajo jewelry. Uh, this was the second book I bought, which is Tim McCrate's um, Complete Metalsmith. It's a really good beginner's book. And the, the jewelry sites that I used in the beginning were ones that I knew, and because it was American Indian focus, it, it was uh, Santa Fe Jewelers, uh, which is still a good site. Uh, Monster Slayer, which is still a good site. I, these, these are pretty much small companies. And if I recommend somebody, it's because they've been easy for me to work with. And I've, I've enjoyed working with them. I appreciate their prices. I appreciate their response. Uh, every, everything I recommend is something that I think is of value, and it's not because I'm paid to uh, promote it. And the, uh, the next people that I ran into were uh, Rio Grande and Otto Fry. And I'm sure that there are other places in the world that are just as good. It's just that I don't know them. Uh, I just, I, rec I recommend the people that I know. And the tools that I recommend are the tools that I've stumbled into uh, during learning how to make jewelry. And if I think it's a value, then I, I pass it on. Um, as we go along, I'll recommend more books and probably more websites, but that's it for now. Chata happy a hokey.